Hello everyone, my name is Justine. I'm from France, near Lyon. I will be 18 in four months. So it's the last year in high school and the next year I will go to the university. So I'm really excited. Um, so um, I would like to know what were your motivation to go into the fair trade fashion? Thank you and bye bye. Hi Justine. Um, I hope you had a great birthday and um, that if you are at uni by now, that you are really enjoying it, and um, good luck if you haven't already gone, um, but congratulations on getting in. You asked what first got me excited, or what first made me want to be involved with fair trade, and um, I mean, I guess it was sparked by my love for fashion, and um, uh, that kind of came together with... Um, a lot of the work that I was doing for my A-levels in England, which is my final year of school, I did a project um, on fair trade and um, I don't know, it, it was something that I was actually assigned to do and then I did more research on it and it just became something that I was really interested in and when the opportunity presented itself um, I I thought it sounded really cool and I, and I wanted to do it. So. Um, yeah, thanks for your question, and um, yeah, thank you. Hey Emma, this is Keith from College Point, Queens, New York City. Um, don't let the College Point fool you, and trust me, there's no colleges here. What exactly is fair trade? I've been doing a bit of research on the topic. Um, ever since I saw an article that you had signed with People Tree. Now, it seems like a very ethical idea, uh, but I'm not clear on how it works with the consumers and the workers on both sides. So, just wondering how beneficial it would obviously be to both parties. As I understand, you go to Brown, which is very awesome. Uh, I tried to get in there for writing, but I got denied. So, <laughs> uh, but any in any case, um, I'm in a cover band. Um, the name of our band is Mimic, M I M I C, and we're a cover band. So we usually play in the city in Long Island and everything else. So, but occasionally we actually play in Connecticut, which is not too far from. Brown University, we play in Stanford and Norwalk and everything else, so um, it's about an hour, hour and a half from Brown University. Um, if you ever want to come down and check us out, more than appreciated, I'd love to meet you. Hey Keith, uh, from New York, um, thank you for playing me some of your music and um, thanks for submitting your questions. You asked for like a for a definition of fair trade. I'm going to try and explain it to you in my own words and in my own understanding, so you have to forgive me if it's a bit um, confusing and, and convoluted, but I'm going to do my best. So, fair trade, as I understand it, um, means that you pay a fair price for something that you buy. So, um, what these kind of massive, massive clothing companies are doing is that they are trying to sell clothing as cheaply, cheaply, cheaply as they possibly can, so that they sell as much, 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 much as they possibly can, and they have these huge profit margins, and it means that the people who make them um, don't get paid a fair price for their work. They get paid a very, very small amount of money. And um, usually in the third world, because they're living in kind of abstract poverty, they don't really have a choice. They, they have to accept, you know, the terms and conditions of, of what is offered to them. And in the workplace, that can mean, you know, sexual discrimination. It can mean, you know, just, just terrible inequality, um, poor pay, poor conditions, child labor. Well, for me, it just gives me peace of mind. Um, and um, I like to know that I'm helping people in the third world, not ripping them off. Um, so that's what fair trade means to me. Hi, Emma Watson. I'm Laura Fairchild, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I go to Chattahoochee High School. And I saw the article about People Tree, and I looked into it, and it seems really interesting to me, and I'm just wondering how young people like me, I'm 16 years old, and why we should choose to buy our clothes through People Tree, and how you think it makes a difference to buy clothes from them and why it even matters where our clothes come from at all and 
I'm really interested to know so that maybe I can help become a part of this cause that seems good. I just would like to know more about it. So if you could please video me back, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Bye. Hi, Laura. Um, thank you for sending in your question. Um, I'm really glad that you are interested and um, interested in fair trade and I wanted to try and explain to you why it's important to care about where clothes come from. So much of what we wear on our bodies are made abroad, um, you know, it's, it's pretty rare now to find clothing that, you know, for instance, for you is made in the States or for me that is made in made in England, um, it's all usually made in a third world country somewhere. What fair trade means is that these people are protected and supported and, um, you know, given, given rights basically. Being paid a fair price for the work that they do can mean a, a roof over their heads, can mean being able to send their children to school, can mean... Um, can just can just mean so much to them. I think it is important to care about where what you buy comes from because it makes such a huge difference to people's lives and you know if consumers demand better standards for um, for the workers who make these clothes then companies have to start making more of them and um, it just it, it has a knock-on effect and, and, and can have a huge difference. If no one cared then everything in the world would be made, you know, incredibly cheaply and the people who made them would make them under terrible conditions and I think that would be really sad and, um, yeah. So anyway, I hope that answers your question um, and thank you for sending it in. Hi Emma, my name's Tom, I'm from Two Things. I was just wondering, do you think fair trade fashion can ever overtake fast fashion? Thanks. <laughs> Hello Tom from Tooting, um, thank you for sending in your question. Um, so you asked uh, if I ever thought that fair trade fashion would take over fast fashion and I would say as much as I would like it to, probably not. I mean, the profit margins uh, for companies that make clothes fair trade um, is a lot smaller, and I think it'll take a lot of time to change people's views on fair trade. Um, it's it's a business model that helps people and and puts people in front of profit, and sadly, the world tends to put profit in front of people. Um, so until that changes, probably not. But what I would say is that even if fair trade fashion doesn't completely overtake fast fashion, it could certainly make up a bigger you know, proportion of the market. 1% of cotton in the UK is organic or fair trade. 1%. I mean, it's tiny, 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 tiny. Um, you know, almost nothing. And it could certainly become more of a majority. You could certainly see it in more places. Um, it could be easier to access, easy to buy, could be you know, promoted a lot more. Hopefully by spreading awareness, um, hopefully uh, businesses will improve the standards of the way that their clothing is made, make it more eco-friendly, make it more people-friendly. And, um, and that will have a knock-on effect, you know, even if it doesn't even if it isn't, you know, fully fair trade, it hopefully standards will improve if um, if consumers demand that, that it does. Um, so um, thank you for your question, and I hope I answered okay. And I wish I could come and run and give you a hug like all of your friends are doing, but um, this will have to suffice. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for the video and um, yeah, keep buying fair trade.